Hello everyone and welcome to this very quick and easy tutorial on how to integrate Search Console data into N8N. Now this is something that I could not find anything about any of this on YouTube so I decided to quickly make this video. Okay, so the first thing that I specifically need is just a regex pattern in order to filter out non-English um, language pages, right? So I just asked ChatGPT to give me this regex. I'll leave this in the description just to make things easier. But basically this is necessary because I only want to do English keyword research and there's a lot of Spanish and Arabic and things like that on this website. So I'm just going to add a filter. I'm just going to say page and I'm going to say URL. I'm going to say custom doesn't match regex and then apply and you'll see now all of the keywords are in English. So now I'm just going to press export here, Google Sheets. And then th there's loads of use cases for this, by the way, there is this manual step of having to export Google Sheets. But if you can't be bothered to do that, then I'll say, I don't know, I don't know what to tell you. Um, so there are a few things you can do with this, right? Um, but I'll just quickly show you how to actually integrate this first. So what you need is this ID right here, and you also need to go to file, share, share with others. This is if your search console is not on the same um, search console like uh, account as your Google Drive, if that makes sense. So you don't have to piss around with login in, on Google. So I've, I've, shared, I've shared that now. So now I'm gonna go to NAN. I'm gonna say add first step. I'm gonna write sheets here. And then I don't know what action is best for this, um, but I'll just say on row added. And then we're going to say document by ID and then paste the uh, thing that's after the D and before the edit, right? This ID here. And then we'll go to sheet um, and we'll click here and we should see that. Yeah, there we go. So these are all of the, the, these are being pulled directly from here at the bottom, right? So we'll select queries for, for this one, right? And then we'll press fetch test event. So what is this going to do? This is going to give us our search console data that we can now interact with on N8N, right? And how quick and simple was that? Now I'm going to do one more thing here, okay? And I'm going to show you one more th cool little thing. So if you go to more and then compare and then three months to three months and then press apply, and then go to export um, Google Sheets and just do exactly the same thing, right? What this is going to now be is a piece of data that is um, specifically got the information that you need to, for example, create yourself a report or, um, you, you know, just see how things are going, etc, etc. So we'll just quickly just see what that looks like. So we'll go back here and we'll actually just change this ID to this ID, right? And then press fetch test event. Now what this is going to do is I need to do the share thing first, file, share, share with others, restricted to anyone with link, and then done, and then fetch test event again. Okay, so now what does this do? Now this gives us information on the last three months, previous three months, last three months impressions, three months impressions. You can do this by page as well, right? So you could change this to pages, and then fetch test event. And then this gives you access to this data where you can see what pages are growing, what's working and what's not working, right? So now what I want to show you is what you can do with this. So there are loads of different things that you can do with this, okay? But the really cool thing these days with AI and especially with NAN is that you can add something like an AI agent, right? So we'll just say AI agent here. And then you can decide what this AI agent does and you can interact with this data, okay? So let's just do an example. This might not be the best example, but let's just do an example. So I'm going to say for all of these pages, compare the column. Um, oh, it's not reading the, the compare the data. Um, three months to the data uh, from, uh, data from previous three months, which is the data from six months ago. Is that right? Yeah. Six months ago. Uh, 
which is the last three months data to the data from the previous three months, this is six months ago, and um, create a report, right? And you can do a JSON mode report and you could make like a report template and then fill in the template according to the JSON response. I'm not gonna do that in this video. I'm just gonna quickly show you this and create a report and give me some uh, tips um, and what is working and maybe some articles to come next. Now, the only issue I'm seeing with this is, oh, okay, I feed it like that right now. That makes sense. I, I just, I didn't know how to feed this information to this, but um, all of these pages. Okay, so now we'll do pages, right? We'll drag that here and then say, Hey, just, I'm doing this live, by the way. I've never done this before. I'm literally just doing this for the first time. So if this goes completely wrong, then yeah. <laughs> and then we'll say last three months. What is it? What did I say? Was? Data from last three months. Data from last three months. Uh, so we'll just do clicks, I guess. Last three months clicks. And then we'll copy this paste this and put a dash there. And then we'll say uh, data from previous three months. And then add this. So we'll just do three months clicks again. Data from last, uh, sorry, the previous three months. Okay. And then we'll say at the bottom of this prompt here, we'll say, Give me some specific numerical analysis as well. Okay, and then we'll uh, add the chat model. Uh, we'll go with OpenAI just because this is what I've been using recently. Uh, we'll use GPT-3, we'll use O3 Mini. Um, and then we'll, we'll just, we won't bother adding JSON this time. We'll just leave it. I just want to see this in, in action. So we should be able to test this now and this should be able to do exactly that. So it has the pages, it has the last three months clicks and it has the previous three months clicks. So I'm asking it now to generate a report, right? And the way I would normally do this, I'm not gonna do it in this video, like I said, but I would create like a JSON uh, object, right? That was like, I don't know, analysis. And then another JSON object, which was statistics um and then like um insider knowledge or whatever right and then you use each of these on like a templated uh page right so this is where analysis goes these this is where statistics go and you can make these into a, a graph automatically with code very very easily insider knowledge you know, there could be like a thing here and then you could have like a picture of you and your team and then something at the bottom, right? Another JSON object. That's kind of what I'm viewing in my mind right now. Or you can just make this for yourselves as well, of course. Okay, so that's now doing that. That's going to take like three hours. So obviously, you know, this isn't the way to do it. Like I said, I'm not an NAN expert, but I just wanted to talk about how you can actually get Search Console data into NA10. This is 1,305 pages and all of their data which can now be manipulated and used um, to do a number of different things. So one idea for me would be to, once you've got these summaries, right? So on the right, the summaries will appear here. Then you can then use all of those summaries to then do keyword research automatically based on the actual data that you've got, right? And I'm sure someone who's better than me at NAN can work out a better use case for having this data inside here. Thanks for watching guys. I'll leave the video there. If you're watching all the way to the end of the video, you're an absolute legend, and I'll see you very, very soon with some more content. Peace out.